You were not created to be average. There is nothing about you that is mediocre. Hi, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries. And this is my privilege to walk through affirmations with you to affirm the fact that God created you different. He created you unique. He did not shortchange you, but he gave you every single gift that you were supposed to have and you were supposed to use. And you have the ability to bless others and to be a blessing through you in the things that you do. No matter what age or what stage you're in, there's always more for you to do. And there's something different about you. Well, today, these affirmations, we're combating being average. Today, the affirmations that we speak are to speak to the excellent spirit that's on the inside of us. And sometimes it has to be rekindled. Sometimes it has to be renewed. Sometimes it has to be rejuvenated because life can beat us down. Our, we spilled the tea, if you would. We end up giving our time, our energy, and our attention to things that bring us down, things that make us second guess ourselves. And so we need to affirm the fact that yes, we are different. Yes, we are unique. Yes, we have been created by the creator of this entire universe. And he knew what we were going through, what we were going to go through, how we would deal with those that were around us. And we grow. Ah, our minds are set. Our crowns are set on things above. So let's jump into the affirmations for today of combating that average and identifying that we have this excellent spirit. Let's go on in. Crown adjusting affirmations, harnessing an excellent spirit. The Holy Spirit works in me and I am aware of his leading. I am empowered by the Spirit of God. I operate as a person of integrity. Greater is he that is in me. I tap into the greater. Like Daniel, I have an excellent spirit. My motivation is love when I speak and when I act. My ulterior motive is always to be the best version of myself. I do my best every day and I strive to be better than the day before. Like Joseph, regardless of my circumstances, I trust God's plan. I am a forgiver. I hold no grudges. I am optimistic. No weapon formed against me will prosper. I am victorious. I am an overcomer. I am not average. God has gifted me. I walk in every gift with the right mindset to be a blessing. Like Joshua and Caleb, I have a different spirit. When God says go, I do. I believe God for my life and all promises are mine. I reach for the mark of the prize of the high calling of God Every day and every way, I excel. Well, yes, welcome back. We have harnessed that excellent spirit. Just like so many that have gone before us, we recognize 
that we can take the examples that we see in the Bible and we can then practically apply them to our lives. But, you know, in all honesty, sometimes we need a little bit of help in order to do that. We need a spiritual mentor, if you will, to continue to remind us of who God has created us to be, that no matter what the circumstance or the situation is, we can get through. So today I offer you an opportunity to book a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me and we'll see where we need to go, where you need to go. We'll develop that blueprint for your next step and what is going to be the ideal situation for you to remind you of that excellent spirit. And that means that you're going to be the best version of yourself because you can't do that by yourself. So if you would go ahead and go to my website, shantahaines.com forward slash vision, and we can jump on that call. I look forward to that. So let's go ahead now and seal the deal with a prayer. Most gracious God, we thank you. We thank you for allowing us to be in relationship with you and having access to you at any time of the day. So Father, we harness the excellent spirit today, knowing that that's what you have ultimately so desired for us, that your DNA is in us and we look like you and we act like you and we think like you and we are the better versions of ourselves because of you. And we just ask Holy Spirit, empower us yet again that we will do what you have called us and we will be obedient quickly to your word. We will walk in integrity. We will have the character that we need. Our words are going to be seasoned with salt and grace, God. And we thank you right now that you've given us that ability, that you're not holding back, that you're not stopping, that you're not hindering us in any way, shape, or form. And we say, just like Joseph, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. And because we know and we trust you that you have a great plan for us, just like Jeremiah said, that your plans that you have for us are for good and not for evil, to give us a hope and expected end. Father, we recognize we're standing under an open heaven and there are doors that are opening in front of us that you open that no man can shut. And for us to walk through those, we need to have the right spirit. So renew a right spirit on the inside of us, God, whenever we veer to the left or to the right. God, remind us to be courageous and push us to do what you've called us to every step of the way. God, we're going to be so grateful. And we want to not only be blessed by you, but to be a blessing to those that are around us. So Father, we thank you for planting us in the places that you have, and we desire to bloom wherever you have planted us, regardless of the season. It truly is in Jesus' name that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Well, God bless each and every one of you. I, I love to say it this way. I help you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes, and it is truly my privilege, my honor to be able to serve you. And I ask that you go ahead and comment below. And I ask you also to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already yet. And hit that notification button so that you'll be reminded when there's a new affirmation or new video that's available just for you. Have a fantastic rest of your week. God bless.